We now learn how to find unknown angles inside right angle triangles using Sokatoa. And to do that, we're going to work through the three examples that we have here. In each of these examples, we'll find the unknown angle marked with the letter A. So let's get started. Looking at the first triangle we have here, the first thing we should always do is summarize the information we're given relative to the interior angle that we're after. Looking at this triangle, and in particular the interior angle A, we can see that we're given its adjacent side length, that's 4, and I mark that with the letter A, as well as this right angle triangle's hypotenuse, which is 5, and I mark that with the letter H. Now that the information has been summarized, we look through the three words so, ka, and toa for the only one containing the letters A and H. In doing so, it doesn't take us long to see that the only word that contains both A and H is ka. Now, ka tells us that the cosine of an angle is equal to its adjacent side length divided by the hypotenuse. Going back to our right angle triangle here, that allows us to write that cosine of the angle A is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. Now, replacing A by 4 and H by 5, that becomes cosine of A is equal to 4 over 5. And so at this stage we know the value of the cosine of the angle A. But what about the angle A? Well for that we'll need the inverse cosine function, which allows us to get the angle A outside of the cosine. Here's how that works. We can go ahead and write that the angle A is equal to the inverse cosine of 4 over 5. And all we have to do now to find the angle A is use our calculator to evaluate the inverse cosine of 4 over 5. And in doing so, and rounding to one decimal place, we find that the angle A is equal to 36.9 degrees. And that's the final answer. Let's look at the next example. Again, our starting point is to summarize the information we're given relative to this interior angle A. Looking at this triangle, we can see that we're given its adjacent side length, that's the 8 here, which I mark with an A, as well as its opposite side length, which is 3, that I mark with an O. Now that that's done, I look through SO, KA, and TOA for the only one of those three words containing both the letters O and A. And it doesn't take us long to see that the only one with O and A is TOA. Now, TOA tells us that the tangent of an angle is equal to its opposite side length divided by its adjacent. So for the angle A here, that allows us to write that tan of A is equal to its opposite side length divided by its adjacent side length. Now replacing O by 3 and A by 8, this becomes tan of A is equal to 3 over 8. And at this stage, we know the value of the tangent of the angle A. Indeed, that's 3 over 8. And so to get the value of the angle A, we use the inverse tangent. And we write that A is equal to the inverse tangent of 3 over 8. We now use our calculators to evaluate the inverse tangent of 3 over 8. And in doing so, and rounding to one decimal place, we find that the angle A is equal to 20.6 degrees. And that's the answer. We now look at the third and final example. And again, our starting point is to summarize the information we're given relative to this interior angle A. Looking at this triangle, and in particular the angle A, we can see that we're given its opposite side length, that's the 7 there, which I mark with an O, and we're also given this right angle triangle's hypotenuse, that's the 10 there, which I mark with an H. Now that we've summarized the information, we look through SO, KA, and TOA for the only one of those three words containing the letters O and H. And it doesn't take us long to see that the only one with O and H is SO. Now, SO tells us that the sine of an angle is equal to its opposite side length divided by the hypotenuse. So for this angle A, we can go ahead and write that sine of A is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Now replacing O by 7 and H by 10, this becomes sine of A is equal to 7 over 10. And at this stage we know that the sine of the angle A is equal to 7 over 10, or 7 tenths. 
And so to get the actual value of the angle A, we need to use the inverse sign. And here's what we write. We state that A is equal to the inverse sine of 7 over 10. Now to find the angle A, all we have to do is use our calculators to evaluate the inverse sine of 7 over 10. And in doing so and rounding to one decimal place, we find that the angle A is equal to 44.4 degrees. And that's the final answer. And so we now know how to find unknown angles in right angle triangles using SOHCAHTOA. And that's it for this tutorial.